How's it going everyone and welcome to the PRISM Global Monitor tutorial. In this video we'll be going over what the Global Monitor is, the benefits of it, and also how to create tasks that are connected to the monitor. To start us off, the Global Monitor is a built-in Shopify monitor that is provided by Solius and supports over 110 Shopify websites. It consistently searches for new items that are released and any restocks on the large list of supported Shopify stores. So to access the monitor, go ahead and click the monitor button on the bottom of the page. As you can see, there is one item that is loaded and restocked since I opened Prism up. If you see a blank page here, this just means that nothing has loaded or restocked since you opened the bot, so don't worry. As long as you keep Prism open and have the monitor up, you will eventually start seeing products pop up. Next, we can see the name of the product right here, the name of the Shopify store below it, an image of the product, and then finally two buttons to the right of the product name. If you press the green button, Prism will automatically create a task and run it based on your quick task settings. So an example of this is you go ahead and press it. As you can see, it automatically starts. The symbol to the right of it is a mask link change button. If you already created several tasks for a specific store and your keywords or early link were wrong, you can quickly click on this symbol and it'll mass edit all your tasks to that specific product. So this is super handy, um, especially on drop days when let's say multiple stores are dropping and KIF and DSM NY, your keywords are wrong. If they pop up here, you can quickly press the symbol on both stores and it'll automatically change uh, and mass edit all your tasks to go to that product. Now we're going to kind of switch gears and we're going to talk about how to create a task connected to the global monitor. We will start out with the first one, which is a store specific task that is hooked to the monitor. So basically on drop days, you have several different stores that you're trying to run tasks for. Some stores like KIF are constantly messing around with early links. In this case, it would be smart to create a KIF task and have it connected to the global monitor just in case your early links or keywords do not pick up. So the to do this, we're going to go ahead and create a task, a Shopify task, and we're going to click on the Shopify symbol. And we did say we're going to run on KIF, so we're going to go ahead and choose KIF. Um, and let's say I want to run for uh, Sakai Blazers. All right, and as always, you do want to put the plus symbol. Um, before each keyword. All right, we're just going to run from random sizes. And um, finally, the most important part is you just want to make sure you go ahead and toggle this button on. So essentially what this is going to do is it will not use any data from your proxies. And instead, it's going to constantly just be monitoring the uh, built-in monitor. And as soon as the keyword Sakai Blazer pop up on here for kit, it will automatically start the task. So to double check that we've done it right, we're gonna go ahead and actually create the task. Well, first of all, KIF is, has CAPTCHA, so we'll turn that on. Then we're gonna go ahead and click Create. So if you wanna check and make sure that your task was created correctly, you're gonna go ahead and actually see this green light on, and that means it is connected to the monitor. So right now, it's not using any of my proxy data, and instead, it's just constantly monitoring the Shopify websites and as soon as Sakai Blazer keyword um, pops up on Kith, it will start running the task, which is super cool. All right, the next method is to create a task that is not store specific and instead will search all the Shopify stores that are supported within the Inbot monitor. So to do this, it's just kind of the same process. You click Create, click on Shopify, and instead of selecting a specific store as we did before, we're going to go ahead and select Solius Monitor as a site. As you can see, as soon as we chose Solius Monitor, it automatically toggled this little function on. We're going to go ahead and input the same keywords. And for these type of tasks, I definitely do recommend you put on a price limit. Only reason why is it's basically going to search for Sakai Blazer, those two keywords, all across all 110 plus Shopify stores that the Inbot Monitor supports. So there's some, there are some situations where a random Shopify store might have the keyword Sakai Blazer, but it's for a totally different product and you don't want to check that out. 
So a safe way to prevent that is let's say the Sakai Blazers retail for 150. We're going to go ahead and set a price limit for 149, 151. And you can go ahead and fill in whatever settings you want to choose here. And we're going to click Next and click Create. So as you can see, we now have a store specific Kith monitor task that's looking for keyword Sakai Blazer. And then we also have a Soleus monitor task that's searching all 110 plus Shopify stores for the keyword Sakai Blazer. Finally, Prism has a super easy way to run for restocks using the releases tab. So to access the releases tab, you're gonna go ahead and click on the calendar icon on the left hand side. As you can see, we have a list of shoes that previously dropped within the past week or so. So if I wanted to create a restock monitor task, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the picture and I'm gonna click create from keyword. As you can see, it automatically entered in the keyword sets that would pick up this product. I'm going to go ahead and choose Soleus Monitor as a site and as a precaution I'll go ahead and enter in a price limit. Um, I forget what the actual price was so definitely uh, <laughs> don't go by this. And so, as we can tell Soleus Monitor is toggled on which is good. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna create two different types of monitor tasks. Um, especially with restocks, you never know which one's gonna go through. So we definitely do recommend having at least one advanced task and one browser monitor checkout task. So I actually increase the task quantity to two. Click next and create. All right, as you can see, we now have two monitor tasks and both currently right now are on advanced mode. I'm going to go ahead and edit one of them and change it to browser. All right, guys. Hopefully this tutorial has helped explain the global monitor feature. And if you have any questions, you can always feel free to open up a ticket within the Discord.